right, so let's have a closer look at this. Uh, we've obviously got a capo on the fourth fret. It's got a capo there. And the chords that you're going to need to know are, there's just three chords again. It's E minor, C major, and D major. So let's go back to our E minor. So our E minor shape, we're going to need our second and our third finger. And we're going to place our second finger on the sixth fret of the sixth string here. We're going to place our third finger on the sixth fret of the fourth string here. And we're going to strum all of those strings. And again, if you don't know how to play this chord, I have done other tutorials, so have a look at that. Um, have a look at the link above as well. E minor. And then we have our C position. So we're going to use our second finger on the seventh fret of the the fifth string. First finger on the sixth fret of the fourth string. And then our third finger on the seventh fret of the second string. And we're going to let that ring out. We're not going to play the top E string here. We're not going to play that. We're just going to play from the fifth, the fifth onwards. And then we've got our D major. And to play this, you're going to need your first finger on the sixth fret of the third string here. You're going to need your second finger on the sixth fret of the first string, just here. And you're going to need your third finger on the seventh fret of the second string, just here. And again, we're just going to let the um, the D from the from the fourth string down. So E minor to C to D to C to D. So those are the chords. Right, we're going to look at that pattern now. That. So you're going to need your first finger on the 6th fret of the 5th string, this one here. You're going to need your 2nd finger on the 1st string of the 6th fret. Let those strings ring out, okay? That is the position you're going to need to be in for the first chord. It's still E minor, but we're playing it there because we need to get to our other frets, okay? So right at the beginning of the song, you've got that, just that bend. And you're just going to place your second finger on the seventh fret and just bend it and let it ring out. And then you need to get into that first position there. Okay, so we've got. And again. Watch what the right hand is doing. Okay, next thing we need to do, we need to do that slur, that hammer on. So it's a. Very simple. So the next bit, we've got that hammer on. And we need to put our third finger on the second string this time. And again. So all of that together should sound like this. And again, press nice and hard, make sure that those strings are ringing out as well. Okay, so the next bit we've got. So what we're going to do, we're going to shift that position and our, our third finger is going to go all the way to the ninth fret of the second string. Our first finger is going to fit nicely on the first string of the seventh fret. And that's what we need. And then we're going to move that back. Our second finger is going to go on the second string of the seventh fret. And our first finger is going to move back to the sixth 
fret of the first string here. So that's the movement. Again, all of that together. And you're sliding up. One more time. Next bit, we're going to move to our C shape. So we've got this. And for that, that lick is just basically open string, third finger on the second string of the seventh fret, and then we're going to open string on the B, the second string. So that's the next bit. We've got open string, second string, uh, seventh fret, and then open string on that second string there. Very simple. So all of that together again. And then we're going to move to our D major shape, which is here. And we're going to, we're going to pull off our second finger. Okay. So we're pulling off our second finger, letting the E string ring out, the first string, and we're playing our third finger. So it sounds like this. And then we're going to go with our second finger, we're going to uh, just bend that top E again, that top sixth string on the seventh fret, which will take us back into the beginning of the lick again, so like this. Take your time doing that. I hope this tutorial has really helped you. Um, if you want to comment below, please do. Please also subscribe to the video. We've got plenty more tutorials coming out in the future. See you again.